the barren deserts of Egypt lies a dark secret. Let's go back in time. Thousands of years ago, evil pharaoh Amset Ra ruled over the barren lands of Egypt. The dictator ruled his army with a mighty hand, instructing them to plunder all of the riches for himself. But he was not satisfied. Having riches did not suffice. He wanted more. Amset Ra instructed his royal sorcerers to craft six magical treasures, which would give him unlimited power to conquer the world. Let's talk about the treasures. The golden crystal might look like a generic solid object, but the crystal is powerful. It has the ability to control the beast of the desert. The following treasure is the golden staff, which has the ability to amplify his legion strength by tenfold. The staff also protects the army from being vulnerable, essentially making them unstoppable. The most powerful diamond of all time is the soul diamond. The gem has the ability to create illusions, some which could yield deadly results. If Amset Ra focuses hard enough on the diamond, he can make a deadly sandstorm appear as a regular clear blue sky. The golden scarab shield is an enchanted stone that uses its magic magical powers to protect whomever wields it. If Amethyst Raw holds the shield, no weapon can touch him. The golden sword might look like a casual weapon, but it bestows you the power to become one of Egypt's greatest warriors. The last treasure is the most powerful. The golden nemes is a headdress that gives Amethyst Raw the power to see into the future. The golden nemes is the only way that the pharaoh can control the power of all six weapons at once. To understand the lore of Pharaoh's quest, we must take a deep dive into the comics. The story of Pharaoh's quest begins after Professor Archibald Hale discovers a tablet warning of the return of the feared ruler, Amset Ra. The small team of explorers are skeptical of Hale's beliefs, until Sky Valley explains how she has been in talks with locals and how they're making claims of mummies and stone creatures wandering across the desert. Talking about the small team, let's introduce them. The leader of the crew is university professor Archibald Q. Hale. And while he is very well traveled, this is his first expedition. In his spare time, the British scholar loves analyzing scrolls and vintage artifacts, and that's when he discovered the legend of Amset Ra. Jake Rains is a well known pilot in the expedition world. He's made headlines for his daring adventures in the Amazon jungle and traversing the icy North Pole. Mac McCloud is a skilled mechanic, demolitions expert, and driver. While the adventurer has an array of talents, he is also very clumsy and always triggers traps if there's any. Helena Tova Skyvaling is an expert at locating traps and decrypting maps. The young explorer speaks seven languages and has the ability to read and find more. She is known for retrieving prized artifacts, the Golden Mask of Montezuma, Jeweled Zephyr of Xanabar, and Diamond Scepter of King Scipio. As the sun rises, the team starts digging for the first treasure, and they strike gold, literally. Reigns discovers the Golden Crystal, but before the team can rejoice, a stone scarab beetle emerges from the sand. The smallest set is the scarab attack. The build might be a small $5 set, but it offers a lot. The set includes Jake Reigns, a scarab, campfire, and container. Face to face with the insect-like creature, Reigns chooses to flee. The stone bug pursues Reigns when all of a sudden he freezes. So what happened? After pursuit, the creature made contact with the Temple of Thoth, which is a symbol of the enemies of the pharaoh, which incapacitated the beetle. While the Temple of Thoth incapacitated the beetle, it also revealed the map with the locations of the other hidden treasures. The team makes a plan to find the other treasures, with the Golden Staff being the next on their list. The group hop into their off-road vehicle and travel to the location of the next treasure. When they arrive, they spot a shrine in the distance, but there's a predicament. Between two rock formations lies a massive ravine, with the furthest one containing the shrine with the Golden Staff. Unfortunately, an off-road vehicle cannot clear the gap, so McLeod hops on his bike and clears the ravine. The explorer grabs the staff, when all of a sudden, mummies appear, and just like the first instance, they flee. Golden Staff Guardians is the $10 set of the wave. The minifigure lineup consists of Mac McCloud and two mummy warriors. The set includes a motorcycle and a shrine with a play function to launch the staff when a 3M cross axle is pushed. The story continues as the heroes take it to the skies. On top of an obelisk lies the soul diamond. Reigns ascends the clear blue skies with a specially 
put biplane when all of a sudden he's pursued by flying mummies flying mummy attack might be a horrible deal when it comes to price per piece with the set retailing for $20 and being comprised of 125 pieces but the set is an overall joyous experience the minifigure lineup consists of Jake Reigns in his pilot outfit and two flying mummies the maroon biplane sports an eagle emblem with two dual Tommy on the front. On the bottom, there's a gear mechanism which can be used to grasp the diamond. The obelisk, towering high, is covered with hieroglyphics and sparse vegetation. Meanwhile, Skavalin proceeds to embark on a solo expedition to the renowned Cobra Shrine. The ambitious explorer approaches the windy structure. When out of a puff of smoke, a snake charmer appears. The charmer silently gestures towards the statue, which brings the object to life. The Cobra pursues Skavalin, but she's not about to give up without a fight and she discharges her weapon the dilemma is the snake is essentially bulletproof when all hope seems lost an unlikely hero comes to save the day reigns a taxi cobra head-on firing at the snake with his twin tommy the have no impact on the creature and in retaliation the creature spits venom at the biplane knocking it out of the sky luckily the snake does have a vulnerable spot on his head and scavaling is a decent shot she tries once again to take the snake down with her high-powered weapon and this time succeeds the snake charmer vanishes and the reanimated creature is no more and scavaling retrieves the shield curse cobra statue is one of my favorite sets regarding snake design. The dull color build features a detachable, flexible cobra and shrine. But let's not forget about the heroes. The duo adventures sports a desert truck. The minifigure lineup is three strong with Jake Reigns, Helena Scavaling, and a snake charmer. While Scavaling achieved success, Reigns didn't quite. The explorer ends up in the middle of nowhere and shockingly survives the plane crash. After receiving a dose of head trauma, Reigns exits the wreckage. When he looks up, he gazes into the eyes of the Sphinx. Before he can fully comprehend what's going on, he is greeted by a sword. A battle ensues between Reigns and the Mummy when Reigns is disarmed. With no weapon, hope seems lost for Reigns until he spots the legendary Golden Sword. The rugged explorer removes the sword from the mount, which reawakens the Sphinx. Reigns is a coward. Once again, he flees, but Hale comes to save the day. Driving in a hot rod, Hale crashes the vehicle into the archaeological find injuring the Sphinx. The victory is short-lived as an army of mummies and Anubis guards attack the crew and steal all the weapons. Rise of the Sphinx is the second largest set in the wave. While most Sphinx have the face of a human, this one has the face of an Anubis. The posable Sphinx features a blow-away wall which reveals a secret treasure chamber. In addition, there's a hot rod, Jake Reigns, and two mummies. After all the hard work, turmoil, and dedication, the crew had lost everything. Rain sat there in despair, planning his next adventure. Maybe he would take a dive into the deadly Bermuda Triangle. But just be the crew lost hope, Hale knew the dangers of giving up. If the crew failed to persevere and retrieve the treasures before sundown, Amset Ra would be reawakened and take over the world. While the crew was strategizing their next move, a pyramid slowly emerges from the sandy deserts. But time was running out and the sun was about to set. The heroes journey to the door of the pyramid, but it's locked. When no time to spare, McCloud lobs his dynamite at the entrance, blowing it open. The team makes their entrance, but there's traps ahead. They must cross an aperture full of deadly snakes, avoid traps, and battle warriors defending the pharaoh. The crew successfully avoids all the traps and finds their way into the pharaoh's hidden tomb. The predicament is the treasures are still missing. Or are they? Behind the crew, the linen wrapped dictator rose from his slumber with all the treasures in hand. After a brief speech, Amset Ra commands a scorpion to attack the band of explorers. While Reigns and Hale sprint away, Scavaling leaps into action, grabbing the staff, which angers the pharaoh. But it is a distraction. McCloud tosses the dynamite at Ra. When it explodes, all the treasures are scattered everywhere and the crew collect them. But one treasure remains. Amset Ra still has possession of the golden sword. Reigns wasn't about to allow Ra to win. He jumps into action and nabs the sword. The pharaoh was now powerless and the crew took advantage of it. The explorers grabbed Ra and shoved him into the sarcophagus 
Pyramus. After closing it, the Pharaoh slept once more. The Scorpion Pyramid is one of my remaining White Whale sets. The Triangle Royal Tomb is the final resting place for Amset Ra. The set features a snake pit, a staircase that can flip up, an entrance that can be open if you turn the cones on the front. Let's not forget the trapdoor feature and launching sarcophagus play feature. The minifigure lineup consists of Mac McCloud, Professor Archibald Hale, Jake Reigns, two Anubis guards, Amset Ra, and a flying mummy. Well, that's a story of Pharaoh's quest. Honestly, I didn't expect this video to take forever to make, but the lore on this theme is so deep. Who knows what adventures Reigns will take on next, or if Lego will ever visit the sandy deserts of Egypt again. But Pharaoh's quest will always be one of Lego's most iconic themes.